Hey, it's Justin from Transistor. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a website you've created on Transistor. This is one of our built-in websites with a custom domain you've purchased on GoDaddy. So I'm here in my GoDaddy account. I'm going to log in and go to the My Products section. And you can see I have a domain all set up here. And if I scroll down, I can click on DNS. So I'm going to do that. And this is going to bring up all of my domain's settings on GoDaddy. Now, back in Transistor, I'm going to go down to the website section. And here, you can see I can set an optional custom domain. So my domain is podcasters.chat. So I'm going to type www podcasters.chat right here and then I'm going to click save. Now over here in GoDaddy the first thing I need to do is delete this first A record here. Uh, this is for a parked domain but we're actually going to be using it now so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. The second thing I'm going to do is edit this CNAME record here. Now, if you don't already have one, you can just add one by going to add, clicking CNAME, typing in www, and pasting in domains.transistor.fm as the value. But in this case, I already have one right here, so I'm just going to edit it. And I'm going to replace the value with domains.transistor.fm. Now, whenever you make any changes to your DNS settings on GoDaddy, it can take a while for them to propagate, meaning you've saved the information, but it will take a while for it to work everywhere in every browser. But if we have saved these settings here in Transistor, so just make sure that that's set properly and you've saved it here, you should now be able to go to your custom domain and have it point to your transistor website. So now the custom domain is the address for my podcast website here on transistor. You'll also notice that we automatically generate an SSL certificate for you. That's all done. Now there's one more thing you need to update before you move on. And that is there is the www version and the non www version. And sometimes what will happen is people will link to or type in the domain without the www. So in this case, if I type that in, it will say this website can't be reached. What we need to do now is forward this non www version, also called the naked domain, to the www version of the domain. So back in GoDaddy, we're going to scroll past the DNS records section until we get to this forwarding area. And we're going to click on this link here, add forwarding. And here in this destination field, I'm going to copy www.podcasters.chat, my full domain, into that field. www.yourdomainname, choose 301 redirect, click save, so now that that forward is active, we should be able to go back here to this version of the URL, and now it automatically forwards to the www version of the domain. If you're looking for a podcast hosting platform that offers you a built-in podcast website, including support for custom domains on GoDaddy, you can try Transistor out for free for 14 days. Just head over to transistor.fm and sign up for the free trial.